Hey guys, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. As you can see, I'm doing a Formula Truck race in a track called Goan Goania. I cannot say that. It's another one of these Brazilian tracks in Formula Truck. Um, so I want to show you this um, this race that I did. Um, I am going to try and complete an entire series, like a season in Formula Truck, because I'm enjoying this game a lot. I know that the videos have gradually been kind of getting less and less attention, but hey, I'm still going to do it. I'm not really doing this uh, this channel simply to get kind of popular. I'm also uploading things that I enjoy as well. And also, on that note, just... You just to let you guys know, I will be doing more city car driving videos. In fact, I'm hoping to do one tomorrow. I just need to sort out my uh, track IR. Yeah, um, loads of people keep asking me about it, uh, but this is not a channel which is only for that one game. It's for lots of simulator games, and of course, I will do city car driving videos. But you know, I have to do other videos as well I have to cover other games as well but yeah hopefully I'm gonna get my head tracking track IR stuff sorted tomorrow and I'll try and do a video on city car driving tomorrow um, also I've been away on my honeymoon for five days so I apologize if I had no videos up I had a great time but now I'm back so let's watch the race now before I start the video actually this was amazing that I actually qualified for this race in first place i think this is the only track and it was kind of ironic that it came after the hardest race i've ever done then on this on this track i was able to qualify in first i was kind of happy so let's see what happens in the race so like i said i'm in first place starting off here i was relatively happy at this point there's a guy trying to go down my inside there. Here we go, but I managed to outbreak them. I mean, it was kind of ironic, like I, I said, that I really enjoyed this track a lot. This track actually came off of the other track that I did. I can't remember the name, Carrot, yeah, whatever it was called. That The last video I did, the, the, the last race in the series was a track that I found so hard and I could hardly even stay on the track and I did really badly in that one so it was kind of ironic that I came off the hardest race in the series so far and into this one and I absolutely loved this track it was such a nice flowing track it suited everything really well as you can see I'm still in first place here so this was like the complete opposite kind of race to the previous one and if you can hear a fire alarm they're doing a fire alarm test in in my house in in my apartment block I mean it's not that uh, my house is on fire or anything so don't worry about that here we go so yeah I wouldn't really say that I could do this track perfectly of course but you know, I did about a good half hour practice on this track and it just seemed to feel really good to me, you know. You have to be so careful with these big trucks. I've said it in previous videos. You have to be so careful on the exits because if you overdo it, you can so, like, ruin the exit and the car, the car, the truck will just squirm away from you, you know. It can be kind of... Yeah, and look, I'm so far ahead of everyone. But yeah, the exits. It's its very easy in a big truck like this to over-accelerate out of the corner and to do a big, like, spin or something. So yeah, I'm, I'm in first place. I'm kind of cruising here, look. I'm kind of cruising here. Like, wow. This track was so much better for me. Really. I was also... Um, reading that apparently Reza Studios, the guy that's, that make this game, are going to be doing an update uh, for this game. I think they're going to be doing an, you know, a slight overhaul update on this game to continue improving the graphics, but not only that, they're going to be updating game stock car 
to 2013 version. So I'm very excited about that because I do like all of the games that Reza Studios have made. Oh, I go on the grass a bit there, but you know, at this at this point, I have such a lead here that even if I was to make a slight mistake, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I'm certainly. I mean, I am basically supporting anything that Reza Studios do and it's kind of worked out because any game what well, obviously so far they've only had a couple of games games stock car and formula truck but both of those games are awesome and it's like the most important thing is the handling of the, the cars or in this case the handling of the trucks and I find that Reza somehow they can make a game where the the feeling of the handling and the weight of the cars and everything and the force feedback on your steering wheel is so so good like I like it a lot of course there are other games that are kind of graphically better but uh, you know that's fine I mean the graphics here are fine and I just really enjoy their games and uh, like I've said on previous videos um, particularly with this game I've enjoyed learning how to drive a big a big truck because it's a completely different style of racing it's kind of a shame really with this game that again the multiplayer is very very quiet I think because I'm in Hong Kong so I would imagine that when I'm on this game that's you know there's probably uh, not that many other people on because of the time difference it would be awesome if we could get some kind of a community in this game on the multiplayer because I can imagine that, that this would be really fun in multiplayer. But look, this is crazy. I mean, we're into like the fourth lap here. Um, I believe I've actually completed three laps. This is the fourth lap. And I'm still way ahead. This is, I mean, I think I have done a good, what, four or five races in this, this series. And look how far ahead I am. Like, this was a first for me like and I think another thing that impressed me or I would say another thing I was very happy with is I was you know staying relatively calm I was driving relatively cleanly you know I, I kind of have this this habit in these kind of simulator racing games I have this habit of just kind of going of making silly errors of being in a, a, a good position and there's the fire alarm again <laughs> um, yeah and then kind of messing it up and uh, yeah so I was kind of happy in this race so far I've managed to keep it relatively clean and I believe I'm doing seven lap races right yeah I mean I suppose that isn't very realistic, but I kind of wanted shorter races just because of, ooh, the, the truck was getting all squirrely there. Just because I knew in terms of the um, the time, you know, if I was to make the races really long, I had this feeling that, well, first of all, the videos, they would be very long, and also I'm not sure that I would be able to find the time to actually do these races you know so I think it worked out quite well and here we are still so into the next lap still like way ahead whoa and there's a red car in the background there a red truck in the background even I kind of like in this game how the AI they are not like perfect sometimes they will crash or they they will do something wrong so that's good it's kind of quiet in this view isn't it there's not really a lot of engine sound but uh, still cruising about here I mean this has to be the the most unexciting race of the series but anyway I'm just kind of happy that I did one race like this because I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do many races like this it just so happened this was a track that suited me 
really well, you know. Well, and it's much wider track. I've been quite surprised that in this Formula Truck series, there are quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of tracks even that are quite uh, thin tracks with these big trucks on, you know. But this one was a nice wide track. And it's also been interesting in this game because obviously, like most of the tracks I've never heard of, I've heard of a few of them because they were in games uh, Stock Car 2012, is it? Yeah. But um, there's a, quite a few other tracks that I'd never heard of before. So I kind of enjoyed learning some new tracks. So we're into lap six. Okay, and they're still way behind me, look. Let's see again. Yeah, well, not way behind. I mean, if I was to go off of the track, there's my teammate, I believe. If I was to go off of the track in a fairly large way I would end up losing places so I haven't got that much of a lead but I was just being very consistent staying ahead you know oh yay and there's the only female driver in the game and she's racing in a pink truck that's very uh, yeah it's a bit too obvious isn't it really oh there goes the fire alarm again so we're getting near the end of the race and I haven't done my usual trick of completely screwing up. <laughs> so I'm very happy at this point. If any of you if any of you guys own this game and you haven't tried this track, and again I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because I'm gonna completely butcher it, but if you haven't tried it, it's a really good track. And it'll be interesting for the rest of the series to see what the other other tracks are like but I believe that the next track in the series is Interlagos and everybody loves Interlagos I know I do it's a really nice track I'm not sure how it's going to go with trucks though but it's a very good track so yeah and you have to like brake so early with these trucks and you have to be so careful because under braking they have a tendency to move around quite a lot and like I was saying earlier when you're exiting a corner you have to kind of accelerate out gradually or very very carefully because it can just slide out you know it's insane the, the amount of torque these trucks have so it says we're on lap 7 so we must be pretty much near the end Yep, yeah, I think so. So, you know, I kind of apologise that maybe this was not much of a spectacle for you guys to watch, but I had to actually upload this video just to show you guys that I am actually capable of running a race from the front and winning a race without screwing it up, because I'm pretty sure that you guys uh, would be kind of wondering about that, because pretty much every, every race I... I put up on here I end up at some point doing something stupid actually the guy behind me is you know I think he's slightly catching on me you know I think I realize it's near, nearly the end of the race I'm just kind of making sure that I don't really do anything stupid just you know keeping it relatively clean at the end there Yay. Kind of crazy how fast these things go, isn't it? Well, there you have it. I believe that is the end of the race. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Number one for me, a qualified 
on pole position and I actually won the race. I know it's unbelievable. Thank you and goodbye.